What is going on everybody? Welcome to the best USB ports guide video. Which USB ports on your PC specifically are the best to use for your mouse, keyboard, or controller? And the reason you want to be watching out for this is just because pulling rate variation is a real thing. And basically on the best USB ports, you will have the least pulling variation and therefore you will get lower latency and it'll fix a lot of your weird input lag issues if there are any. So before we get started, here here are just some common misconceptions so the color of the usb ports do not matter why is that so the reason for that is just because the color of the usb ports just indicate which generation of usb port it is and for data this is important but we're not transferring data all we're doing is plugging in mouse keyboard or controller in there so if you care about transferring files over from a usb stick or an external hard drive yeah the generation of the usb matters aka the color also matters but for us this video for our purposes aka gaming low latency gaming the color of the usb ports do not matter now the front usb ports on the front of your pc case are going to be the last ones you want to be using just because the io panel can have issues and it's just plugged in through the io panel on the actual case and then into the motherboard rather than just directly being inside the motherboard so we're going to avoid those completely just to save us a lot of headache and last but not least intel is way simpler to plug in your usb devices into rather than amd amd has two usb controllers one powered by the cpu and one powered by the chipset aka the motherboard so on amd this matters way more than it does on intel so for you intel folks you might already be on the best usb ports you really don't have to do much but for amd you are gonna definitely gonna have to watch this video and figure out which ports on your motherboard on the back are the cpu usb ports and usb ports are the chipset which are the ones that you want to avoid putting your mouse keyboard or controller on there so let's get started with intel and then we'll move on to amd so for intel again it's pretty much simple you already are probably on the best usb ports if you have your mouse keyboard or controller plugged into the back so you might not have to worry about this but let's just double check anyways just open up your start menu type device manager you're gonna click view at the top and you're gonna click devices by connection and then you're gonna scroll down find your intel usb controller and as you can see i have my mouse and keyboard right here and that's basically how you want to have it set to so you want to have your controller down here or your mouse and keyboard right here these generic usb ports you just don't want your mouse and keyboard under here you want it directly under the usb root hub so if you expand usb root hub and your mouse and keyboard are down here then you're pretty much good to go same thing if your controller is down here however if it's under one of these generic usb hubs maybe try flipping around try a different usb port in the back just to make sure you get your mouse and keyboard or controller down here basically plugged into the usb root hub rather than under under a generic USB hub. The reason for that is just because you want it directly in the least resistance possible. The generic USB hubs are just gonna create resistance and it's pretty much just better to have it just in case down here plugged into the root hub. So that's literally it. That's all you have to worry about for Intel. That's, you don't have to do anything else. So that's for controller, mouse, and keyboard. Just make sure you have it like mine and then you can have your headset or mic wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, mouse, keyboard have to be that plugged directly into the USB root hub. So now let's move on to AMD real quick. So for AMD guys, you need to download the hardware info tool in order to continue and the reason for that is with the hardware info tool we can figure out which usb controller and device manager is the cpu usb controller because in hardware info it basically tells you the code name of your cpu and then the name of the usb controller which means that's the cpu usb controller and then it'll show you the chipset usb controller depending on what motherboard model you have so make sure to download this tool you can just download the installer or the portable i'm just gonna do the portable right here go over over fade out download just local if you're in the US and then you can just double click on it double click hardware info 64 and then just don't check anything just press start all right so once you pretty much have hardware info loaded up you're just gonna close out of the extra stuff that's open you just want to focus on the main window so expand bus expand PCI bus number zero and then we're gonna expand some of the PCI bridges to make sure that our USB controllers pop up so as you can see I expanded this one PCI bridge and now the AMD 400 series chipset USB controller pops up and now if I'm gonna expand the chipset usb controller and basically as you can see i have the devices like my wi-fi adapter and some just stuff that i don't really care about in there and then if i go down for example you'll see the cpu usb controller which as you can see it's amd matisse slash firmer and what that means is basically that's the code name for the cpu so for you it's going to be different or the same it just doesn't really matter you just want to make sure that you're using that one whatever code name your cpu is but but 
what the AMD chipset, whichever number the chipset is, you want to avoid that one. You want to avoid plugging in the mouse, keyboard, or controller on there. You can plug your headset and your webcam and your other stuff in there, but your mouse, keyboard, and controller have to be in the CPU, USB controller, aka the AMD, the code name of your CPU, and then USB XHCI controller. Now, once you do that, you also want to make sure it's connected directly to the USB root hub and not a generic USB hub. So it's pretty simple to do that. You just flip them around in the back and figure out which is which. But yeah, got to make sure you're using also device manager. So basically, this is device manager, but just in hardware info, and it shows you a lot more information than device manager does. But yeah, it's exactly like device manager. So if we open up device manager, and we could pretty much line up how device manager looks with hardware info and using that same information we can figure out where our current controller mouse keyboard is plugged into so you can just start unplugging stuff and then plugging it in the back and then using different usb ports to make sure that it's on the bottom cpu usb controller most of the time it's going to be on there so if you're on an amd cpu just make sure it's on the bottom amd usb controller or one of the usb controllers that has the code name in its name rather than the word chipset so again just to reiterate one last time if the usb controller that your mouse keyboard or controller is connected to is the amd chipset usb controller in hardware interface then you want to switch your mouse keyboard or controller around in the back and make sure that it switches to the CPU which you can just close hardware info if you really want to then reopen it every time you do that and it'll refresh and show you the changes if there is any and make sure that it's on the CPU so once you do that you're pretty much good to go you pretty much could play your games with low latency and you won't have to really worry about this ever again just make sure you're using the same USB ports and you take note of which are the CPU and which are the chipset but that's it for the AMD part anyways guys it's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe comment down below if it's helped you and make sure to turn on the post notifications in case i drop another helpful video if you guys are tired of watching videos like this and just want one service that gets everything done for you go to the link in the description and book a pc optimization service directly with me we get in call we do everything through any desk and we get your pc running even better than brand new so even if you have a brand new pc i guarantee it is not set up for low lane gaming out of the box so if you're interested go to the link in the description and book an optimization offers with people like booga anyways guys it's gonna be pretty much it for this video peace out